Hi everyone, we're building something a little different today. This is the Kada Citron 2CV set, C61026. A big thank you to lighttake.com for sending me this set for review. I can't help but noticing this set looks very similar to the LEGO Fiat 500 set I've built recently. But again, I think Citrons can look a little bit similar to Fiat's in real life as well. There is a photograph of the actual vehicle on the box. I think this is a pretty fair representation of the actual vehicle. You can see some detailed photos on the back of the box. Other than the colour and shape of the vehicle, there are other little details that remind me of the LEGO Fiat 500 set, such as the brown vintage suitcase on the back of the vehicle, which is almost identical to the Fiat. Set lighttake.com sent me is the basic version of this set. However, there are some add-on options you can purchase to make this a motorized set. This set is made up with 1,238 pieces and no minifigures. The size of the finished product is 31.5cm long and 13.5cm tall, which will be a little bit bigger than the LEGO Fiat 500. This is interestingly an 8 plus set. I do think it looks a little bit more complicated than that, but we will find out soon. I'll open and build this set now. At the end of the video, I will also do a direct comparison between the Kada Citron and LEGO Fiat sets. If you like my videos, please don't forget to click the like button below and subscribe to my channel. Let's now open this box and see what it looks like inside. This is very well packaged, I must say. Very elegant black matte texture inside with gold lining. I think it looks really good. So it's separated into two different boxes. I'm very glad to see the bags are numbered. I like how they designed the little gap on the top and bottom of the inside box. That makes it really easy to lift it out. We've got 16 bags of bricks all together in this set, separated into five different steps. They do look like relatively big steps to me. I reckon half an hour to 45 minute steps. So this whole set would take roughly three and three half hours to complete given the instructions are clear enough. There is also a bag of tires and a little bag of rubber bands. There are two books of instructions, one sticker sheet. The quality of the sticker looks pretty good so far. Even the instructions book reminds me a lot of the Lego Fiat set. So the first few pages of the instructions book gives you some information of the vehicle. There are some very nice photos of the vintage Citron 2CV vehicle. First four steps of the building process, we will be making the base structure, the external shell and the internal details of the vehicle. Let's build. The brick separator in the set is a very pretty transparent blue. I have just completed the first section of the build and made the base of our vehicle. You can tell it's actually quite big. So the building process is very different to what I expected. It's actually quite technical. So you can see there are a lot of pipes and tubes used to slot together this structure. The way it's structured so far is kind of between a Lego Technic and Lego Creator Expert set. The bricks are pretty smooth, they slot together quite well. I'm pleasantly surprised at the quality of the bricks. The only issue I had so far is I have one incorrect brick already. I think I can get by, but definitely not ideal. Only other imperfection so far is the way the black bricks are printed in the instructions book. They've used very, very dark grey to represent black bricks, which is okay. However, they've chosen black lining for those parts, which makes the outline of the bricks relatively hard to see. I think this can be easily improved by using white lining for the very dark parts. This has already taken 45 minutes to build. 
It's actually quite challenging and very fun so far. I'm gonna keep going and then we can look at the details together a little bit later. We have now completed most of the external structure and internal details of our Citron 2 CD set. This has already taken two and a half hours to get to this stage. I think it's relatively complicated for an 8 plus set. Let's now have a closer look at the details together. This is the progress we've made so far with our Kata Citron 2 CV set. It's actually quite a large build. The colour of the yellow bricks here look a lot more industrial looking, probably closer to what I would expect in an equivalent Lego Technique set. Most of the bricks slot together relatively well. There are a few loose parts such as these wheel structures that fell off multiple times during the building process. I also had another incorrect brick in the process. It's not a showstopper luckily. You can see the bricks on either ends of the back passenger vehicle are different. Our engine is in the front. I like the use of the relatively thick pipes. It makes it look more bold. Two large vintage lights. Looks like we've got two doors on either side, but only the front doors can be opened. It's also a little bit gappy here. I think that's mainly to do with the slanted angle of the door. The back boot can be opened. This is a storage space. The seats are made up with dark grey bricks. The back of all the seats can be adjusted. The two front seats are a little bit wobbly though because they're simply sitting on two studs like these. So it comes off pretty easily. We are relying on stickers for all the patterns so far in this build, including the Citron logo on the steering wheel. Our Kata Citron 2 CV set is now completed. The whole set took roughly three and a half hours to complete. I think it's not a bad looking vehicle at all. I did very much enjoy the building process. There are a lot of technical aspects with the build, as well as some nice little details. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the quality of the bricks. It is relatively pleasant. A few parts that are probably a little bit too wobbly, like I mentioned before, the wheel structures, as well as the tripod legs of our vintage camera. Nothing was a showstopper though. Definitely check out lighttake.com for some interesting sets, especially if you're looking for a Lego alternative. At the moment, you can also get an extra 20% off by applying the code LTMOCK on checkout. Let's now have a closer look at our completed product. After that, we will also do a direct comparison with the LEGO Fiat 500 set. This is our completed Kata Citron 2 CV set. 
There are three components with this build. Our main vehicle, a vintage camera on the side, and a plate with the product detail on it. This is actually the only printed brick in the set. A nice looking vintage camera. Like I mentioned before, the legs are definitely a little bit too loose, which makes it relatively difficult to stand up. I think the choice of the vintage camera as a side accessory is an effort to differentiate this set from the LEGO VR500 set. However, if we have a look inside the suitcase, you can see the pattern of paint and paintbrushes. Maybe it would have made more sense to have the painting kit on the side instead of the camera. Nice looking vintage suitcase. We have no windows on the vehicle. I think that bit of detail is lacking because it actually looks a little bit strange without any windows when you look at it closely anyway. I can see a sunroof part on the top. However, it is made up with steel bricks. There is no option to open the sunroof. We are relying a lot on stickers with this set. Everything you can see on the vehicle are stickers, apart from the signage, as I mentioned before. We've added in the front bonnet cover in the last step, and it can be opened. Not so sure with the choice of this particular brick as the door handle. It does seem a little bit out of place. I do like the effort of sealing off and applying patterns to the inside of the doors. That's a step above and beyond the basics. The two front wheels does allow some left and right adjustments. It will be required as it is an option to make this a motorized set. The other structure issue I've noticed with this vehicle, there are a few main components that are only connected by a few studs, which makes it relatively fragile, such as the front seats, as I mentioned before. And also the roof of the vehicle is only connected by about three or four studs. You can tell this is a relatively fragile structure. Wheels are very smooth, overall a well sealed off and smooth looking vehicle. Let's now do a comparison with our LEGO Fiat 500 set. If you look at the picture on the boxes for both sets, they definitely look very very similar. However, they are actually very different sets. From the building process to the structure of the vehicle to the look of the actual finished product. If you put them next to each other, I don't think they look that much alike at all. Firstly, the colours are completely different. The Citron is in a much darker yellow. You can tell the Lego bricks do seal together a bit better. So overall, the finished vehicle does look a bit smoother. I think the Lego set has a better choice of door handle. The wheels on the Fiat set doesn't allow any adjustments though, so I don't think it's too much an option to motorize this set. We do of course have a different sunroof on the Lego set with a choice of fabric and an option to open and close the roof. I think the building process for the Citron set is actually a bit more challenging as much as this is an A plus set and this is a 16 plus set. I think it might be a bit more interesting building this set given the different technique and structure used during the building process. The finished product, I must say, the Lego set does look a lot better. It's just a bit more delicate with more thoughts put in the details of the vehicle. Of course, they are priced differently. The Citron set is a lot cheaper than the Fiat set and it has more bricks in the set with an option to motorize the vehicle. Let's now have a look at the full view of our Citron 2CV set. 